Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to generate a random number table in Spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you how you can generate a random number table at first with numbers from 1 to 100 using Spreadsheet mode on the Casio ClassWiz. Let's go into Spreadsheet mode, so it's Menu and then 8 for Spreadsheet. And on the first cell here, A1, we're going to press Option and then 1 for Fill Formula. Press right to edit the formula. Now, this is where we're going to tell the ClassWiz that we want to produce random integers. Now, if we have a look at the bottom here, there is a feature that enables you to generate random integers, ran int. It's one of the alpha functions, and it's just above the decimal point button here. So if you press alpha and then the decimal point, you should get random integer. And then a set of open brackets. Now, this is where we need to put the range that we want to generate the random numbers between. So I'm going to start off with one. So the lowest integer is one. Now I want to put the upper limit, but I need to separate this using the comma. Now the comma is above the right bracket button. So you need to press shift and then right bracket, you get a comma. And then we put our upper limit, the highest number that we want to include in our random number table. And so in this first one, I'm going to do 100 and close brackets. Press equals and then it's down to set the range. Now this is how big we're going to generate the table and this will be limited by the amount of memory that is available to produce the table or possibly just simply how big you want the table to be if you want a smaller table. So press right, I'm going to alter the range. I'm going to have my first cell be A1 but I'm going to make the last cell D20. Now this will give me four columns of 20 random numbers, so that's 80 random numbers in total. You don't have to make it that big, but that is roughly about the maximum comfortable amount that you can generate. So you can certainly generate a table that's a little bit smaller than that. Just need to put in a smaller range, but I'm going to do A1 to D20. Press equals and then equals to confirm and just give it a moment. And here we have our random number tables. We can see that the spreadsheet has been populated with random numbers from between 1 and 100 all the way down to row 20 you can see it stops there nothing on row 21 we've got four columns here of random numbers there is actually a fifth column available column e and again if, if you choose to use that that will take up more memory i don't tend to use that as much because it's not displayed on the first screen there it's better just to continue having more rows or that's what i've found but you can use column e if you want to Let's just go a little bit bigger. Let's just generate some random numbers from 1 to 10,000 this time. So I'll click on my first starting cell. That's A1 and option and fill formula again. And it's alpha and random integer. And then I'm going to input my limits to what I want my smallest and largest random number to be. So I'm going to go from 1 to 10,000. Remember it's shift and right bracket for a comma. And then I want to input my range. I'm going to keep the range at A1 to D20. Press equals and then equals to confirm. And here we have a new random number table, which has generated numbers from 1 to 10,000. Now, if you're interested in how much free space is available, you can check that. If you go to option and then four on the first page, we can see how much free space there is available. And it's saying 20 bytes free. Well, that isn't a huge amount. We couldn't go really much bigger than that in terms of the table we want to generate. If you do this at the start, it says that you have 1,700 bytes free. So 1,700 bytes free and we're down to 20. So there's not that much room to go that much bigger. Press AC to return to the table. I'll just show you one last variation of a random number table. If you press option and fill formula on cell A1, there's a one now, just delete that. And that is just using random number. It's indicated with random hashtag. This will generate a random three decimal number. So it's got a number with three decimal places and the limits to that will be between essentially zero and one. So it's a random three decimal place number between zero and one. And again, I'm going to do the range A1 to D20. So I'll just alter that. Press equals and here we have our final random number table. You can see that the random numbers have been generated with three decimal places. 
Some of them have been put into standard form science notation here because they're quite small. This in B3, we've got six times 10 to the power of minus three. So that's essentially 0 0.006. Roll down, we can see that we've got some further values here. So C7, four times 10 to the minus three and others there. So there we go, three ways that you can generate random number tables using spreadsheet on the Casio Classwares. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.